Okay. <clears throat> right. I'm gonna. Um, I'm not so confident with this being. Um, uh, what's going to be the best place for me to do this? I think probably here actually. Let's try this again. Okay. So, um, video diary number three. Um, but, um, yep, yeah, praise God, um, we got here. I'm in Yakutsk, and um, I'm in the bed and breakfast hotel. And I'm going to be spending the next uh, next three days in while we prepare for the trip to Magadan. Um, so, yeah, I feel really weird, like, it's like I'm, I'm kind of crouched down. Ooh, crumbs, my bed slip. Anyway. Um, right, so basically, I feel really weird talking like this because I'm concerned other people can hear me, but why should I care about that? Anyway, it's 8 o'clock in the morning here. Um, I am, um, I've been travelling for 24 hours, pretty much, and it's time for bed. Uh, no, no, yeah, right, so um, it's time for breakfast. I'm just going to have to accept that I've missed a night. Um, so... Had a fantastic trip, um, praise God. I mean, it couldn't have gone any better um, if it tried, really. So, <clears throat> so yeah, I had a, a fantastic trip. Um, it, it's probably one of the longest journeys I've ever done in my life. And um, basically, it was, it was, I mean, praise God. Like I said, you know, it was, it was just fantastic to be... Um, to be able to kind of have a challenge really and the experience of of traveling across what is the largest country in the world albeit on an airplane um, I don't think it's quite quite hit me yet at least the tiredness hasn't quite you could probably tell I'm I am pretty shot um, but but that's okay um so yeah i'm not going to bother going to try and get rest and sleep because i slept a little bit on the plane and um i think it's better just to crack on and just be trying to integrate into the normal daily routine and um and i'll get over any jet lag and or whatever as as, as time goes on because ordinarily i'd be going to bed now in england because i think if you guys now it's i, I don't know it's, it's probably getting towards 10 o'clock in the evening or later or something so um, so I am kind of a, a sleep out akin to I'm getting up when I should be going to bed in my mind. So, um, but anyhow, um, fantastic trip. Um, no problems with any of, of the planes, praise God. Landed in Yakutsk with a very spirited landing <laughs> by, um, by the pilot. Um, what I mean by that is, um, landing into minus 43 fog and smog on a runway which still has ice and snow on it to some extent and um it was just the way he kind of plonked it down and then like full reverse thrust really <laughs> it was just like <laughs> we're alive so um but it was great but you know what already um i've had amazing experiences um on the flight from london to, to moscow there was one lady who um was Russian um, and she's come from an area just outside Moscow and she was sat next to me on the plane, the EasyJet plane and um, after noticing a couple of times that she had a, um, a language book of some sort next to her I thought she was learning Russian, I think she was actually learning English um, it turns out she'd just been Shell and Phil, she'd just been to Shrewsbury so this is a, this is a bit of a, a plug for the Shrewsbury lot um, to to spend time and to do be doing her English and practicing her English and stuff, and um, she was going back to Moscow, and um, her name was Nadia, so um, um, so yeah, I got um, got talking and and um, after kind of mentioning the book which she had, wondering if she was learning Russian or not. Turns out she was Russian and she was learning English, so we conversed in English and Russian and. Um, for the rest of the flight actually and then even after we've got off the flight and into the airport and um, through passport control and um, it was really good to get that kind of practice 
So, um, so, so yeah, you know, I seem to have a habit of making friends with, with anybody over the age of about 50, it seems, <laughs> which is fantastic. Um, now that it, you know, it's, um, yeah. Anyway, it's great. So, oh, crumbs. Um, can anyone tell I'm a bit tired still? So, um, so I had a really long, um, yeah, conversation, uh, struggled a little bit with the Russian, but, um, got good practice in and, uh, then made my way, um, to a connecting flight. Praise God. I mean, we, we got to Moscow with loads and loads of time, but the flight to Yankutsk didn't leave until later and I thought actually it was five o'clock when it left. I actually had time to go and have lunch and coffee in, in a Russian coffee shop in the airport, which was nice and needed. And, um, yeah. A very, very long flight, six hours, 40 minutes from Moscow to Yakutsk. And um, I'll tell you what, wow, Yakutsk is amazing. The climate and the, the temperature of the weather is something that you just, I've never seen, experienced in my life. Um, and it's true what they say about keeping the cars running, because I came out of the airport with the two chaps who were picking me up. And all the vehicles in the car park were all running. <laughs> um, and actually, um, once I'd left the airport, it only took two breaths for my nostrils to freeze up. And it actually was, it, it was noticeably harder to breathe. It felt like I had ice up my nose or something, snow up my nose, you know. <laughs> I think if I'd been out there outside any longer, the beard would have frozen. So, um, a fantastic, um, first introduction to Yakutsk. I'm going to go and have something to eat and, um, start, um, considering, you know, what the next step is of getting ready, really. Um, yeah. So, uh, anyhow, stay tuned and, um, and, uh, uh, it's, I'm exhausted. <laughs> this is me waffling, by the way. Um, I'm not giving you any any decent information at all, am I, really? Um, so, but give me uh, 12 hours and I might be a little bit more um, up to scratch. Um, so, I haven't met the others in a group yet. Um, one of the chaps is already here. I think I'm probably going to go and meet him in a minute when I have breakfast. Um, the lady, the Polish lady, arrives tomorrow, uh, and I guess I'll probably meet Bolot at some point too. I've already met uh, Misha and Aya, Aria, um, and they were both the guys who picked me up from the airport, and um, lovely guys. So um, the Russians getting big, big use, really is. So anyway, <clears throat> stay tuned. Um, that's uh, day zero technically the start of day zero so stay tuned and um don't forget oh yeah that's who we're doing it for get supporting guys girls come on dig deep i ain't going into minus 60 for nothing you know come on right so yeah praise god thanks guys um comment like whatever and um oh, yeah catch you soon Paka paka. that's Bye-bye in Russian, by the way. Bye.